Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Creature from the Black Lagoon. Here's the title. And this movie came out in 1954, 70 years ago. <laughs> Not today, obviously, but uh, I believe this was the last Universal Monster movie that uh, came out. And uh, this movie is directed by Jack Arnold. Uh, and I've never seen anything from this director. This is the first film that I've seen. Overall, I liked the movie. I didn't fall in love with it. It didn't uh, frighten me a whole lot, uh, but there were uh, things about it that I liked. It had a lot of charm to it, and I liked uh, that uh, the creature... Sure, you can uh, tell that, oh, it's just a guy in a suit, but the way things are presented in the movie, it is kind of intentional, so for that I can forgive it, and I did like uh, how the movie establishes uh, this creature, and uh, it's... Uh, as powerful as humans, if not stronger, and it constantly just, like, kills people. <laughs> and is an excellent swimmer. And there's a lot of uh, things about it uh, where you can tell that, oh, this movie inspired other things like it. And uh, there was, like, a shot uh, from this movie that reminded me of Jaws. <laughs> and that was kind of interesting and caught me off guard. And... Uh, Apparently, uh, this movie was also uh, filmed in 3D, and I don't know if there's a way to watch this movie in 3D, because I don't think uh, either of the discs that this movie came with are allowing me to watch it in 3D, so I'd be curious to know if a, a 3D version of this movie exists that you can watch. I like this movie a lot uh, better when it's restrictive in terms of uh, showing the creature, because after a while, it does show it a little too much, and then it just uh, becomes a point where it's like, oh, okay, you're just showing it uh, so much uh, that it's just not scary anymore. And I did like the music in the movie. However, it was kind of spammed so many times that it just didn't affect me after a certain point. I was like, oh, yes, we have the music, and by the end of the movie, it's there, but I just don't care. And this movie is very short. It's 80 minutes long. Doesn't really waste any time. It gets into what you would want from a movie like this. And watching the special features, you can definitely tell a lot of what this movie was going for and the sequels that it got. And while I haven't seen the sequels, they did talk about them. And I was like, okay. And... It gave me some appreciation for what this movie did as opposed to the sequels. <laughs> but going back to 3D, I believe this movie was the first film ever to be filmed in 3D underwater. And it was this big idea for this movie. Like it's in 3D, but underwater. Like that was a big thing for this movie. And... What we get underwater is cool to watch. And I could imagine watching this movie just in 3D and being impressed by it. But going to some of my issues with this movie, not all of the acting is great. Sometimes characters are supposed to be emoting, but they just don't really communicate that very well. And this movie doesn't really exist to have memorable characters. Like, I didn't really care about any of the characters. I didn't find any of the dialogue to be particularly memorable. And I also felt as though there was room for improvement in terms of how information was presented visually. And unfortunately, I can't really discuss those things because that would spoil the movie. <laughs> Even though there isn't really a whole lot to spoil, the things that I think would work best to talk about in terms of presenting things visually... That would require me to spoil the movie. And while watching the movie, I did feel as though the creature was, like, treated as two different things. And I was kind of confused as to whether it was supposed to be the villain of the movie or be there to be a part of a greater meaning. Like, a big message to the film and, like, environments and, like... It's just showing off uh, how uh, poorly people uh, treat uh, the oceans and water and nature <laughs> and a whole bunch of stuff. And 
there was things uh, about that uh, going on and it did uh, work. It added to the film. It didn't feel thrown in at all. And although none of this is subtle, it's there at least and it adds to the film. And that's about all I have to say about a Creature from the Black Lagoon. I enjoyed it. I think I'll hold on to this movie mostly for the Steelbook. <laughs> I think I like the Steelbook uh, more than I like the movie, but still didn't regret watching it. I would recommend the movie. I don't know uh, how quickly I'll be rewatching this movie, and I don't know if I'll check out the sequels anytime soon, but... We are getting a remake by James Wan that'll come out within a year or so. I don't know exactly when, but I know that it's happening, and I'll check it out. I like James Wan, the director of Saw and The Conjuring 1 and 2. Getting a little off topic, Creature from the Black Lagoon, the original. Thumbs up, I would recommend it. And with all that being said, I'm going to give... Creature from the Black Lagoon, a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Creature from the Black Lagoon and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for The Neon Highway. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.